I'm Jody, and I'm just going to start off with helping you guys learn a little bit of Cold Fusion. The reason why I'm doing this is because I have been on the web and there is not any really good Cold Fusion tutorials that are for free. Well, anyways, if you are willing to learn Cold Fusion, then this is for you. I'm going to try to do a new lesson every week or as often as I possibly can. Also, the videos are going to be on my website, aogpro.com forward slash code fusion. And you can get all the videos there to see them in the true quality that they're supposed to be in. Okay, anyways, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and open up a new document. And you should already have Code Fusion Developer installed on your computer. If you don't, that's fine. Just go to Adobe.com and register and download Code Fusion and install it into your machine. And once it's installed, you can go ahead and create a site by clicking Site, New Site. I'm going to go ahead and name the site CF Tubes. The, the URL should be if you don't want just once you have installed, click on your Internet Explorer and your ports may vary. Go to 127.0.0.1. This and then your port. Or easier, just go to your Core Fusion administration. And again, just got an error that, that doesn't like this, so I have to go to Core Fusion. And then we're going to log in. And once we log in, we are able to go through it. Just go to CFID, you are right here. And just make sure you move forward. CF tips. And then go ahead and grab that URL. And then we're going to paste that URL into this thing right here. You click next. Yes, I want to use service side technology. It's the code fusion. Next. And it's, it's going to highlight it. Saying, so, you know, okay, this is it. And then we're going to say, this is my server that is on the computer. Click next. And then it's going to pull up. Okay, this is the URL that's best subscribed to it. But that's not the case, so we need to type in much more HTTP. 127.0.0.1 and we're to type in the port number which was 8500 then forward slash and click next and we'll just click ok then we'll click none and next and then done click ok now we're done now to test it what we want to do is we're just going to do something really cool real quick that is awesome. I believe it is. So what we need to do is we need to go ahead and start CFL. CFL put is what you do when you're opening up Code Fusion to put out variables and arrays and similar. But it is always not needed just for cases like that. So to, in order to test to see if a core fusion is working, we need to put in the pound sign create unique user ID, which that's what it means. Create U U ID the little brackets and followed by the pound sign. And we need to go ahead and open the CF output. Then we can save it. Click file. Save as. The file name that you wish, make sure it's saved as dot coldfusion.cfm, excuse me, and click save. And just go ahead and override it if it already exists, which it should. And we're going to go ahead and test it. Press and one. We should get something similar to this. Now it's not going to be the exact same because it's your server and the number is going to change every time. 
and nobody is ever going to have the same number on their computer. This is good for security and all that stuff. If you're into that, which everybody should be, that is going to develop a website. Okay, now let's see here. Let's talk about variables. Now that we know that, CFL is. Excuse me. Let's see. Remember, that is what we do when we put out a variable or a tag that is used by Cold Fusion, like this right here. Okay, now let's talk about variables. Variables are similar to PHP. If you do know PHP, this is really good because Cold Fusion is based. How should I say this? It's got some of the similar syntax as PHP does. So, okay. so to create a variable, you need to go and say CF set. CF set means you're going to set a variable. Then the next thing you do is type in the variable's name. We type in email. We're going to set that equal to an email. And if you need an this is not my email. This is one of my own. That way nobody spams it because I'd never check it. And then that's how you set a variable. Now to echo that variable out, then we'll just say see if output. Then we need to type in a little pound sign within the variable's name, followed by another pound sign. Then we'll go ahead and go to in that see if output, click on file, save as ls1-2 member.cfm code fusion and save then we can open up and test to see what happens refresh it and then there we go we see that it puts out the variable okay now this can be a whole bunch of things but one thing it cannot be let's have quotes inside so you can quote or and then you see you should get in there. You should get in You, you see there. Now the thing you can do here is, I believe you can, excuse me, I believe you can quote it out, just simply. We'll get into that more later as we get more advanced. Well, I'll just show it to you now. We'll just go back to the finish. We'll click file, save, and see if that works. Oh, we're still in there. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look that up. I never looked at it. Right? No, please don't worry about it. I uh, will show it to you later. As soon as I figure out what happened. Okay. And then we'll save it. And then we'll see what it does. After it's been fixed. And then refresh. And we put out the variable. Hello. Now, you can also store that create unique user ID that I showed you earlier into a variable as well. So this could be good if you're trying to get a URL or somewhere. You can refresh and it'll be the same thing. Well, this is the first lesson I'm going to show you. I hope it's not that long and I hope I didn't talk too much. And it's, it's really late. I'm trying to keep it down and not talk as loud because people are trying to sleep. But if there's anything you need, you can contact me. This email address right here. It's agpro at yahoo.com. And I will help you as much as I can. Thank you.